Hey guys, so um, I'm in the process of crochet hooking on my dreads, so I have them awkwardly separated out. Um, I have two left in this row, and then I just have those on the bottom, and I'm done with like my first maintenance session in two months almost, so thank freaking goodness. In the meantime of, you know, not having done maintenance, my hair was allowed to kind of do as it pleased, and so I did wind up with a few flat spots and loops, and I thought I would take this opportunity to show you how to fix a moderately sized, moderately mature loop slash flat spot, because I just found a good one, so let's see I got my camera I have like a mirror here and like this here so hopefully you'll be able to see everything and hopefully I don't look like an uncoordinated idiot but I am doing this like in a mirror and then reflecting my computer screen so bear with me but anyway here we go so here's the spot we got so you know here's my finger next to it it's not massive but it is flat you see flat, no good. I already crochet hooked the top of this and you know when you crochet hook you want to make sure the part around your dread is clean. So I've done that and I've already crochet hooked from here to here as you can see by the frizz that has been somewhat minimized. Now we're going to start working on this loop. So when I work on a loop I put the crochet hook in the flat way like this. If you put it in, you know, this way, uh, perpendicular to the flat plane, it's not going to do you much good. So here we go. So I pinch this down, pinch the loop down, and I kind of rotate it so it's flat, and I'm going through the wide side. So again, I pinch it down, and as I pinch down, I'm turning it so I'll be working through this side, but so it's compressed. See that? I just kind of roll it so it's flat, but I make sure I'm working parallel to the to the flat spot. So we're just going to put the crochet hook in, and you're going to, normally I'd be pinching this down, you're going to pull roughly, drag across your thumb, thumb, pull slow, and pull roughly, like this. Alright, so you're going to See, it's just improved just a little bit, and sometimes you can uh, you can pinch the loop around itself. So we're pinching. I'm going to pull this pinched part around, and then I'm going to use my crochet hook to pull the pinched part into the center. And again, we're dragging. See how I'm dragging these hairs in? I'm dragging the loop in. And this is rougher than normal crochet hooking, so be very careful. Alright, so again we drag. Alright, so the loop is kind of kind of fixed. Now I'm just gonna go in and do some regular crochet hooking. And you can see this kind of crochet hooking in my uh root to tip crochet hooking guide video. Okay, and sometimes I put straight down in the dread and I do this. I feel that that helps greatly. And, ta-da! We've gotten rid of a loop. Before you go, and before you get to the end of this video, I found some more loops to work on on a different dread. So, it's, uh, it's this guy. You see this? Here are here's a loop at the root, and here's a little small loop down here. So loops at the root are tricky because you know if you crochet hook too tightly near your scalp, you're going to get an irritated scalp. You're going to be sore, and your your hair is going to be pulled too tight. That's never fun. So you have to treat it gently. Sometimes crochet hooking can actually exacerbate root loops and make them worse because you're pulling one side tighter than the other, you know, pulling and, and then it starts to buckle as it goes in. So you have this nice tight smooth part and then this buckled root and you really can't do anything about it. This particular loop at my root, I feel like we can do something about. 
and it's pretty simple. Again, we're going to reach all around this thread, make sure the parts are clean, and we can see that they're very clean. All the loose hair, oh, here. All the loose hair that belongs in this thread is inside of it, and I like to twist the dreads around when I work on them. <laughs> Um, it also helps give a barrier between your dread and your scalp, but anyway. So we're just going to fix it like this. What you do, you put the crochet hook through, and you drag, and you drag, and you drag, and you drag, and there's a difference already. And it helps me, uh, you know, when I pinch stuff down, it's hard to show in a video, but I prefer to go like this as I work, and to show you I have to lift my finger so it's a little bit harder. But do you see how I just dragged that in? You see how I just dragged that in with the crochet hook? That's the key, it's just dragging hair in. So we got this, you're gonna drag and drag and I'm pressing the hook along my thumb just so I get a tactile sensation of what I am doing. Alright, so now look at that. Loop is mostly gone. I'm going to do again just some regular crochet hooking maintenance like you would see in that video I just mentioned. And again, you don't want to hear snapping and popping sounds when you crochet hook. That means you could be damaging your hair and that's no good, so just be gentle and careful. Alright, so now we're down to this second loop. And again, let me show you with this little loop. And the properties are the same for bigger loops. So if you have bigger loops, it's going to take a longer time, more work, and more creative manipulation of the dread with your small crochet hook. Um, 0 0.5 millimeters. Don't go any bigger because this is the key. Um, but yeah, again, the properties are the same. You would just drag and drag and you do this between your pinched fingers so you feel it but I'm doing it open so you can see it drag drag alright so it's minimized and now I'm just gonna do that pinch and roll so it's flat and I'm dragging between my fingers it's again the same dragging I'm just doing it between my fingers so it's a bit easier and I'm dragging, dragging, dragging. <laughs> and that bump is minimized. Now, an important thing to know is that when you do crochet hooking maintenance, you can't fully eliminate all your bumps. Where's my, there's one of my dreads that, here we go. So this dread has just been maintained in it a uh, it's gotten the loops pulled out, but it's still kind of kinky and wavy. That's just kind of part of the deal. You can't make your dreads perfectly straight, but you can minimize the lumps in the loops. Hopefully this will go straight at some point, but I'm not too concerned because it looks tidy, the frizz is minimized, and the loops are also kept to a minimum. So that was my injection, and back to the video. It's that simple. Really, you just have to kind of manipulate the dread and get it to do what you want it to do. Yeah. Um, I am going to give you guys a little update as soon as I finish all these uh, dreads doing maintenance to show you um, the difference from, you know, my four-month update video to today, which is just a few days between. Um, because it makes a huge difference now that I've done maintenance. Like, I can't even explain to you how much happier I am with my dreads now that I've done maintenance. Um, as an aside, it is really important that you yourself are happy with your dreads. For instance, if you thought you wanted to have neglect dreads, but you really aren't enjoying the appearance of, you know, a mop top, like one of my friends who had neglect dreads but didn't like them, a mop top, you know, or the loopiness or something like that. If you think that's not a nice look, there's no shame in changing to starting to crochet hook your dreads and make them look tidy. Conversely, if you're someone who feels like you have to have this neat and tidy appearance and, you know, it doesn't affect you at work, um, it, but you feel like you have to keep your dreads looking super tidy and, and all this, but you don't want it, 
stop doing maintenance on them. Just separate them every day and let them do what they want because it's so important that, that you are the one who is happy with your dreads. Not anyone else, you. I'm very unhappy if I have loops. If you're happy with your loops, keep them. If you're not, change them. You know, it's all about what makes you happy and what you feel is right. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Bye-bye. <laughs>